Now that we've seen all the work from all the contestants, we can group them into their separate categories. This year there was a lot of great entries, wasn't there, Floyd? There was some really good talent in this contest. Yeah, there sure was. So let's give a big round of applause for everyone that competed in this contest this year. Wonderful work, and we really look forward to seeing you again next year in the competition. So uh, let's take a look at all the models for M-O-N-M-H-1 and get this show on the road. Jonathan's model is entered in M-O-N-M-H-1 out of the box. This is the Groovy Garden, a man-eating plant produced by Bill Voice. Bill contracted Jonathan to do the box art work for the kit. This model is the result. Paul's first entry is in M-O-N-M-H-1, and this is Dr. Deadly's daughter, a.k.a. the victim. It's an Aurora kit made in 1 scale. Paul says, Using all Aurora parts, I kept her arms movable, as the kid intended, gluing, puttying, and painting around them. I painted her shorts to resemble Daisy Dukes. Paul's next model is entered in M-O-N-M-H-1, out of the box. This is the Godzilla maquette, from Ultra Ya yeah Hobby, again in no particular scale. Paul says this model was inspired by a Japanese movie poster depicting the Godzilla prototype carrying a woman. So there's all the entries for M-O-N-M-H-1, and now let's get the winners. Floyd, can you hand me that letter, please? All right, so here we have the letter, and let's open it up and take a look. Uh-huh, uh-huh, all right. So what we have here is with a bronze, we have Paul Inselmos with Dr. Deadly's daughter. Coming up next for silver, Paul Inselmos with Godzilla's maquette. And in gold place, we have Jonathan Reich with the Groovy Garden. So, congratulations everybody. And now if you want to see our next category, the winners of the next category, check out this video right here for M-O-N-M-H-2 Concepts and One of a Kind.